let's do the thing. Um, uh, yeah, at first I wasn't too excited about doing this because I wasn't like the idea of just spamming the weapon attacks didn't sound all that cool, but he has a built-in synergy that you can you sort of already have a deck going if you just remove uh well, they're not, they're not bad starter spells, uh, but in theory you, you could remove these two and have a deck that's mostly built on blue bullets and Enervate, which is really kind of interesting. It sounds interesting to me. Um, and then so there's a jam, that's a jam skill and a, uh, no, it's not Trinity. Well, if you got offered minigun, then that would be a Trinity, but, uh, I guess you could try to fish for convergence in any case because that's where you get all the mana stacks and then maybe you pick up trinity along the way or maybe you just like i said maybe you just do those two things and then oh spell power that's the other thing that synergizes so yeah convergence is kind of you probably try to do convergence in some form and then, and then unless you get off for something a lot better uh probably just want to yeah, I probably just want to go bonkers with Enervate, unless you get offered the one that increases your focus. You, uh, I think it's just called focus. Something like that, anyways. Uh, that's... Uh, should be pretty reasonable. What I might have to see is, does the weapon become uncastable? It says, it's, it says uh, in the description of the weapon that it costs zero, and then you lose half of a mana point after you cast it. So, uh, like, even if you cast it when you are at zero or point one, like let's say you spent three mana almost instantly, and then you get, then you instantly did a basic attack. I, I think you could still use it even if you were below zero point five, would just would take you down to zero. And I, I don't believe you can you can go negative. That would be an unusual way to code things. We'll probably find out eventually. Uh oh, that, okay, that is it's been a while. Oh, he has no passive regeneration whatsoever. That's interesting. His shot is pierces through everything, though. It's been so long since I've won. Well, it hasn't been that long, but I forgot that that ice monster. It just looked like it was a part of the background or like an obstacle. Of the actual enemy, I was like, "Where's the thing? Where's the, where's the actual enemy?" Anyway, it didn't hurt me. I, I got the full heal. Um, I guess life jacket could be good here because the idea is I have this stupid combo that I want to ramp up. Well, there's the mint tea that could have gone with the relic that I skipped, and then there's the pendulum that. Starts at zero, so I guess. Oh, well, there's the mini gun. That's uh, that I could. Yes. I don't know. Maybe I should just fish for some shield spells. Actually, I can do convergence later. I, I would. Look, I want a thin deck, but I would like one or two. One or two shields to go with it. If I had known that this was my, gonna be my spell and those were gonna be my relics, then I probably would have just taken the two frost relics, but that's okay. It's in the past now, so. Uh. Any gun, I, I probably wanna fish for spell power. It's not good yet. But it works well with other stuff that works well with what I have now. I get plus one, but do you get mana regeneration just for leveling up? Oh, you can shoot the bomb, right? Yes. That's good. Really That's really annoying, though. Oh, well. Flames. I 
see the flames do. In situations like that, the flames do just damage over time, which is kind of convenient. Uh... I don't like that. It's. I'd rather just get the 40 shield, just without having any mini games or any bullshit whatsoever. That would cost zero. I guess it's not. I like it. I like the thin deck. Uh, maybe I like this more. I'll just kill something outright, and then try to scale for other stuff. Technically, it only does 20 damage if, if they survive the 200. Um, some upgrades could easily work more than make up for that. The Trinity Relic. Very situational mana regen. I, I am going to fish for Trinity eventually. I, I still don't have my shield, my first shield yet.
also want to double cast this one. And I just want to remove the pot. Yes. So what's holding me back? The stupid bombs, maybe. The AoE is sort of nice, it's good for the hostage rooms. Though. And Mana Lattice might have been too obnoxious. It might have been a mistake. Maybe the PK fire needs to go at some point. It's either the med kit or or I remove the PK fire. It's, I mean, it's only one card. I, I could get offered. This could be the best relic choice at some point. Not a ton, but I keep saying I'm going to be vigilant about keeping my deck small, but it ends up not happening.
like that. It's just, a, it's just free damage in theory. It's kind of a pain to set up, though. I think the consistency of some playstyle means I really just want to remove cards at random when I actually I need a really good reason to fix it up, and that's not going to cut it. Yes, we can 
or this. So where do I put the upgrade? Double Castle Rest could be pretty awesome. Shields up and Haven, it's like... When I consume one and like double cast the other, for example, either one of those would be pretty satisfying to have right now. Iron Will, just probably like bonus damage or splash damage would be nice. Double cast is not super great. Like best case is you could kill two enemies that are standing in front of each other, which sometimes that happens, but can't really count on it. Uh, I have no idea what what the upgrade for this is supposed to accomplish. I don't know, maybe if I never get good regen, but if I get a lot of maximum mana, then eventually this mana lattice starts to become good. Just depends on how fast can I push the buttons. Uh, This one would be okay for double cast as well. All three of these, I, wanna, I only have two upgrades though. So. Yeah. Hmm. So which one do I start with? I'm low on mana, so maybe I want like the double cast to hit something. It's on the cheaper side. Probably still dead. Oh, to be 
Oh, you can touch it when it's on the ground and it hurts you? Yes, dodge it, please. Oh, fuck. Alright. It's okay, none of those relics were really all that relevant. So it's just less than just experience.
probably shouldn't be. the same time and I didn't know how much damage it was, but I'm definitely low. Alright, taking the heal. <laughs> and it's a revive later on. Ah, 
unique. That's when I need unique things that actually do something. Shots, that's really gonna just that's gonna be so obnoxious, I think. Get the trench, can I? That downside is just I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that, I don't think. It's like, it's, it's sort of, it's kind of like four spell power, basically, is, is what it averages out to. Heal. This is going well enough that I, I would hate to throw it away. And if I get 25 money, what can I afford? to donate blood if I do the 25 money. Or I can just not take the heal in the first place. If I donate blood and I heal, I lose 90, and I heal, I still heal 150. This is too annoying, I'm not gonna do it. This is fine. I'm gonna do is gonna get an upgrade. I could get two upgrades, but I don't like my health to at all. So that does not get me enough for an upgrade by itself. That's the problem. It's really close, but it doesn't quite get me there. I really need an upgrade right this second, or do I just... Just 100 health. Is the, is the upgrade right now worth 100 health, or do I just want to... Just try to outplay the fight. Meditate might be okay? I don't know. I feel like I'll regret this once I have artifacts. It's just gonna get in the way. Mandalitis, I'm not really feeling that. Early in the battle, you can't just take it for granted that it's going to explode right away. It's, it's the delayed benefit is, is a little too frustrating. Yeah, I don't 
don't think I want to upgrade that that bad. Same benefit for the same total cost, no matter how, no matter how you ration or when you ration out the money. It's just sort of pre predetermined how it's gonna work.
Alright, I'm doing the cool new thin deck thing. Early game is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Uh, structures only, okay. So I don't... It'd be nice if I, if I could get one spell power for myself, but it doesn't look like that. That basically nullifies flame damage, turns flame into a good thing. Which is kind of, kind of neat, I guess, but... I really just want to push my buttons faster. Which means... Uh, any kind of mana generation is, is good. That's kind of interesting. I don't think I want it, though. Works better if you have a lot of front loaded damage, but uh, I don't. Uh, do I just take the med kit and then upgrade? That's very scary. I don't think I can do that. Uh, I don't think I removed any of these. Take two upgrades, or I can take a heal. I have no, I have no guaranteed healing other than sparing the boss. It's only, only gets one upgrade for now. So which one? I want, which one is? It? That's this one becomes so more front loaded. If I can double cast it, that would be pretty cool. This one is super late in the battle. Late in the battle, I think. I think every time I go through my deck, how much more powerful do these get? This one gains five hits. This one gains thirty damage. I go through my deck, this one just gains 2 damage. Or no, it gains 2 times 20, so 40. They all scale pretty similarly. It's just this one, if I had spell power. Or if I had a spell power. This one wins out if I could gain spell power during battle, or if I just start with a lot of spell power. Uh, I don't have any of that right now. Anyway, uh. Double casting this. I think it scales twice as fast. But, uh, the other ones don't get to say that. The splash damage is sort of okay. I think I just want to re-roll this though. I, I really. I, like double casting, I think, means that it gains. It, it ramps up twice as fast, which is. Super duper helpful. Uh, well, basically, didn't get to upgrade that time. Okay. I need to start out in the middle because I don't know whether he's true the top or the bottom. Until the end. Or until he starts.
cards are some of the cards are slightly modified because they don't really they, the, the actual player version of the white is working the boss fight. Oh, I did I think you can dodge those retaliation switches really fast.
the mana vein is like a mediocre 100%, and then the upgrade is, is, is a lot more random. There's some bosses where this is sort of tempting. How many times per second does that apply, though? It doesn't really say. And he needs to walk close to the rock so we can actually see it apply. This is like not a very good tool tip. She might be somebody that I'm trying to get a mixed run so I can unlock the other loadout. So I have to spare and kill. Feels pretty mean. Not gonna lie. Yeah, kind of like that here. Maybe Golden Cat probably doesn't get a chance to pay off. I guess upgrades are pretty important. Okay, if I get double, any double cast on anything with guilt free because I'm Uh Shields up with consume is just kind of. Double cast is fine. Bonus shield is fine. This one is probably the loser of the bunch. Uh, those are both fine. Uh, double cast, if I get consume as a second upgrade, would also be pretty. Sweet. Because I assume it I assume that it consumes twice is the way the interaction would work. There in that you get the you get the bonus. I get offered a really cool way to get spell power, and I go for it. And I can't save this, right? It's just, it's just lost. Sorry if you wanted to, if you wanted to live. You, I should, you should have asked for like, I don't know, default saffron or. That from Ragnarok, I guess it's the one who has the most reliable win button for that fight. Yeah, spin decking is really good here. If you get a chance to just well, something you fill up with your mana, then having pumping up your max as fast as you can makes a difference. I assume 
it just does the same damage as the base attack. This is only good if I get that. Uh, if for some reason, I get relics that apply fragile one for free. It's not really good. The micro missiles. I don't know. It, it didn't look that great. It definitely does something. I definitely attack a lot, but. That's 
15-ish. Is that really how I want to heal? I mean, you don't get to choose. You don't really get to choose, usually. I think I already decided this was good. If I get an alternative way to heal that, that I... That's better, then I'll be annoyed that I had to do that. Uh, hasn't happened yet. Okay. Too late, I already spent money. That's 
why I was hesitant, but I you know, could go either way. Through the snake fangs a little bit early, or got blocked by another enemy. Um, this interferes with my playstyle, but it can really speed up a lot of fights. Based on the theme, I thought Double Tap was more the kind of skill that this character would have. But I haven't seen his second loadout yet, so we'll see later.
scale the blue bullets, so I, I, this thing continues to be sort of good for them. At least until I get, like, unless I get really absurd relics, blue bullets isn't really going to take off. Sparing. I think I'm. My health is high enough that I'm just fishing for relics here. It's not actually a thing. I mean, it looks on paper. It's, it's a synergy, but it's not a very good one. I don't think. There's one more thing to micromanage. I don't. I just don't think I want it. That wasn't flawless, but I came out ahead, so that's that's important. 
built and consumed for double damage. There's no downside, does, does it? Yeah, it gets weaker, but it can't get weaker if it can deck anymore. Okay. That's kind of a perfect mod to have there. Oh, yes. Start with max mana. That's probably quite good. Oh, can I? Yes. Life steal. Now can I get up all this?
Holy shit. <laughs> I might end up using that revive, like, in, just in the next act. Just right off the bat. Just 
upgrade everything. That or I reroll. Uh, double cast. Yes. Okay, what's, what's my highest impact? You would upgrade at this point. Double tap would be pretty sick, I think. Restoring half the mana cost, so it would cost like six, but it would refund three. Double casting devour would be sort of alright. It would be harder to set up. It wouldn't be very often that you could actually get a double heal from it, so. Probably not that. Uh, oh, that one's already double cast. that. Double tap might be an even better double cast though. Got I've already spared somebody. I, I think I yeah I need the kill. I need the... I'm just gonna fish for the relics. Still don't have any spell power. One, I have three spell power. Okay, where's my relics? Uh, oof, can't afford that. I guess that's probably gonna do nothing, but everything else is sort of out of the question. I need max health. I don't need that relic is kinda of the opposite of what I need, you know. Head 
shield. I don't know what happened. Did I, I must have gotten poisoned. No, probably not. How many enemies actually have shields? I think because Forte costs five, I have exactly five. Having one more to actually cast other things could be a big deal.
need the heal. Now I'm at 400, but I lost. I don't have my revive anymore. It's pretty scary. Maximum health is only 765. It's too bad I don't get the. Yeah, it's too bad I don't get the, the spell power from it. Or just the consume alone is. Barely good enough, maybe. Oh, I only got like two more battles. The consume is not even gonna have time to scale. That's kind of dumb. Do I just let the Sarah Cannon be good at what it does and just don't bother with this other stuff? Maybe it buy one reroll, maybe two rerolls. But I think rerolls are starting to get expensive here. Three rows 
poison itself to death. I can't even. Take that spell. Those two upgrades are not that really exciting. Yeah. That spell power is kind of not really. I don't have enough Trinity, so it's just no. Is it okay? Yeah. There's two boss fights, and that's it. I just gotta. Achievement. Maybe I, I had found him like this before. It just was a long time. Maybe I won a long time ago. Sort of 
was the Rambo-ish thing. Okay, what is this one That one, I think, check this one out. What does he start with? He only has one spell. Okay, so it's... He fires kind of like in a... I assume it's diagonally. And you just want to be constantly shuffling. This doesn't sound... That sounds like not very fun. It sounds really annoying. It sounds like it takes forever, but is, are there ways to amplify that that I just don't know about? That's it. 